when partial discharges occur, an electromagnetic wave is emitted and starts traveling along the enclosure that acts as a pathway and can be picked up by several kinds of sensors. These UHF sensors are the best choice in order to monitor and measure PD on your GIS. If the gas insulated switch gear is not equipped with such sensor, there are still other solutions that power diagnostics can provide. The UHF sensors are installed inside the enclosure of the GIS that act as a shield against external noise, and they can be interacted through these end connectors. For less modern GIS, where embedded sensors are not available, power diagnostic can still provide external solutions like the window sensor that can come in different uh, dimensions and can be easily installed on top of the Windows inspection on your GIS. The second external solution that power diagnostics can provide is the external flange sensor that can be installed on unshielded portion of your GIS flanges. This is an example where the external flange sensor can be installed. By removing this small lid, you can position the EFS on top of it and detect the partial discharge signal coming from inside the GIS. At the output of the UHF sensor, there is the frequency converter unit, where the first signal processing happens and allows the transmission of the signal up to 80 meters. In the case of embedded sensors, Power Diagnostics provides also the input protection unit, whose scope is to provide further protection to the rest of the system from very fast transients that can occur inside your GIS. After the pre-processing unit, a coaxial cable carries the signal up to the acquisition unit, be it portable or permanent. And thanks to the plug-and-play nature of the GIS monitor by Power Diagnostics, you're ready to go and measure partial discharges.